Hi, my name is Randy Miller. I'm from Wraps, and we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to actually wrap the refrigerator, and uh, I'm on all three sides. Um, what we like to do is we like to recycle. We like to uh, get uh, old refrigerators and pretty them up, and then uh, have it re someone reuse it for, for instance, like like a, like a pop uh, refrigerator or beer uh, kegerator or anything like that. So it's it's. It's good to recycle, and that's one reason why I'm making these videos. But uh, now I'm going to show you how to actually uh, wrap a refrigerator. It's fairly easy, and the material I use is a it's a vinyl. It's a high quality vinyl. You get great crisp colors and everything. But also the vinyl is uh, it's air released vinyl. So if you get air bubble right in the middle of the vinyl, you can just massage it off. Very very easy to uh, to to apply. And, uh, oh, here's the, here's the the vinyls, all three sides, and this is the BSU, you know, blue flame, orange flame, and then you got the logo right there, and then these are the fronts, and these are the sides. Over here, you got to make sure you get clean, you clean all the edges around the backing, all the edges around here, and what you normally use is uh, alcohol, or I have a prepping uh, liquid I use to make sure it's really clean but you can see how beat up this is and we're gonna make it look pretty again and reuse it okay for the first step I usually get the wad the sides first so I flip it upside down I fold it oh about seven inches so it has something to grab onto and I'm gonna put it on the refrigerator side of the refrigerator all right next what I did was as you can see it's only a quarter of it. I made sure all this is actually wrapped all the way around. The backing is really not that important. It just you need to go right about there or you can go all the way either way. I usually print over the size. So once it's all aligned it's fairly easy uh, to bring back down. Alright so when everything's aligned what I normally do is just like bring it down about uh, 12 inches And I pull it tight like this, and I just crisscross it. Make sure it's in the middle when you pull it down. And you just go like that. That's basically it. Okay, when it comes to doors, what I do, if it's a top door, bottom door, you know, like a, a side doors or anything like that, I usually, when I, when I print your prints out, I overlap them. As you can see, if you can kind of see right there, I overlap them about uh, as wide or as thick as a door. So it's about two inches thick. And what it does, it, it has a uniform picture all the way down. Uh, and also, I need to. I like to go all the way underneath up and wrap it around, and get it as tight as possible all the way around. So that's what you'll expect when you order a refrigerator wrap. All right, one little trick you can do is actually you can roll this up if it's long enough, and roll it up. Take the backing off slowly, and and then pull tight going down and stretching this out evenly. That's one way you can actually. Do it. Hold down a little bit. And just go back and forth. Alright, last but not least is why I like to tighten up everything. Uh, there's bubbles and, and things that you need to to form around, and for instance, uh, let me show you this right here. See this part right here? It's kind of mm, there. It is. It's not tight. So what I'm going to do is use a heat gun or a blow dryer, or even a blow torch. You heat it up just for a little bit, and it sinks it right in. So it's pretty, pretty tight. So what I did do is I go all around the edges of the doors, as you can see right here, 
and you do the blowtorch and just get all all tightened up. All right, if you want to earn a little extra money, this is actually a cool and smart thing to do. Go on Craigslist, buy a used refrigerator, and it, it, it's good to to recycle and everything. And uh, so if you go on a Craigslist, get like fifty dollars or a hundred dollar refrigerator, wrap it up is whatever you want to wrap it up, or you think what thinks it will sell, resell it, and you can probably resell it for three, four, or five hundred dollars. I actually. Uh, did a refrigerator and it was like $700 after I got done with it. So if you need a little extra cash or you want something different or something new, go here. Uh, thank you for watching this video and if you got any comments or questions, you comment down below. I always do, I do a lot of custom refrigerators so if you if you want something custom, just let me know. Uh, there's a little design fee but the average cost of just printing out the, the refrigerators for one door is $120, $125, somewhere around there, depending on the size of the door. And I, I do mini fridges, I do large fridges, I can do any kind of fridges you want, I can actually do door wraps uh, and other projects you want me to do. Alright, well my name is Randy Miller and this is Wraps and catch you on the next video.